We're so on our mine. way to Shan's Hospital. Up close and personal. Almost there. And we're early. That's the hotel we stayed in though. Like the past That's eight fun. times. Yeah, I really want to. It's nice. It's pretty nice. Making a U turn. We're going the wrong way. You can't leave the house without your sweet tea. We're going the right way now. <laughs> Should be there soon. Okay, you went way too fast. No. Let's put a whole sign. There you go, right there, right there. Yep, that's it. Like right there. Oh, no, there's no A. <laughs> there's no A. Way to go, Shans. Shins. Way to go. Shins. Way to be awesome. <laughs> yep, there's the Shans Medical Plaza. Where we're going. It's nice. And now, as you can see, I'm just so thrilled to be here. There's no places to park where they have a good bathroom because parking garages don't have bathrooms. Which I think should be legal. This is my mom. Hi. She's amazing. <laughs> Look how cute she is. She is. She's, she's been through everything with me. Yep. My hero. But, yep, I'm going to Shans right here. Fun times. I need more lighting. Oh my god. <laughs> Professional. Perfect. <laughs> there we go. That's good lighting. <laughs> Today was my appointment with my gastroenterologist at Shands, and a lot of news. I will be beginning Humira injections uh, this week, actually. I'm going to have a nurse come out to my house and uh, teach me how to do the shots. I ordered the syringes because I'm a little afraid of the uh, pens because I heard that heard some horror stories with the pens, so I just thought I would just try the syringes to be on the safe side. And nervous about that. And then I also got news that I wrote it down because, you know, it's a lot to remember. Oh, she wants me to stay on all my medication plus the Humira injections and then start tapering off prednisone after my second series of shots. Then I have an MRE scheduled to check on my situation with my ovary and my bowel because they're stuck together from scar tissue and inflammation. And um, she wants to check on those to see um, in like a couple of months to see if the Humira helps heal it a little bit. And if so, then that's good. And if not, then I'm going to have to get surgery to remove my left ovary. So, kind of hoping that... The Humira helps because I don't want to go through surgery, but if not, then, you know, everything happens for a reason, so, yeah. Also, from the laparoscopic surgery that I had, um, they went through my belly button as one of the places they went through, and the scab that was forming actually fell off in the shower, and so my scar is open. Yeah. Not good. 
so she's worried about a fistula forming so she said to clean it really really well and make sure I keep a really good eye on it and that if I see anything green or any fluids coming out of it to let her know so um, just have to be on the safe side with that but yeah that's pretty much all I got all the information I got today um, not really fun news but um, maybe Humira will work for me maybe it'll be my miracle drug who knows but yeah that's what I'm hoping but to keep my fingers crossed because I really want to feel better I'm actually really feeling pretty sick right now it's 3 in the morning and uh, yeah just updating you guys on everything uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, and um, yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.